it going? Kelly here from Carcraft Auto Tech. Wanted to film a video today, but uh, it is not going very good. I haven't had the car out for a few months, and uh, the battery is completely stone dead. And uh, yeah, Mr. Mechanic Shop Owner guy has no tools at home. Everything's at the shop. So I borrowed a charger from a neighbor, and I got some jumper cables, this and that. And uh, yeah, it ain't working so far. So just sitting in the driveway, looking at my car, not driving it. So anyways, we'll see what happens today. See if we get any footage, and uh, yeah. We'll see. Well, here's what we got going so far. So we got charger down there, battery from the truck. We got some cables and all hooked up on here. Man, I've had this thing jumping on here for like an hour. It still doesn't want to go. Uh, PCM's not wrecking enough, uh, recognizing enough voltage. And uh, yeah, it doesn't want to jump. Um, it is what it is. I guess we'll just uh, keep it on there a little bit longer. Uh, worst comes to worst, we'll pull the battery out and you know bring it to the shop and uh, charge it up properly. All right, so it's been a bit. Let's uh, let's give this thing a go, see if it'll uh, actually get fired up. So yeah, it's probably been, uh, I don't know, it's probably been at least like three months or so that it's been, hasn't ran. So anyways, let's give it a shot. Oh my god, that was brutal. So anyways, it finally cranked for a bit, fired, and now it's dead again. So I don't know. We're just going to leave it on charge for a little bit longer, see if we can get this thing to go. Well, I was trying to film a video the other day um, for the car. Um, it's been sitting for basically most of the winter. Probably haven't fired it up since around October. So, you know, maybe whatever that is, four months. Anyways, battery's dead. Fair enough. Uh, tried boosting it. Didn't work. Get it charged. Seemed to sort of not work. Uh, started doing some strange things. It was... Um, getting a bunch of warnings on the screen and didn't want to crank correctly and it did start up a couple of times ran for a few seconds died um i was kind of still thinking that uh, you know we weren't quite seeing enough voltage to the pcm so it kind of trips out a little bit so anyways let's jump forward to now and then uh yeah got a new battery and let's get that installed and let's just see if we're still having the same problems thinking maybe maybe we lost a tune or some alarm type problem or anyways anyways let's see what happens let's get that battery in so i was at the shop today and uh picked up a fresh battery so get this guy installed here real quick i think i'll throw the hole down on now probably throw the hole down on after let's just get this guy in here Okay, so anyway, let's get the battery installed. Let's just double check. We're gonna see if we're still having some of the same problems. I'll grab the key, we'll jump in, see what's going on. All right, sorry, we're going handheld here. I know we're probably gonna end up being really shaky. But uh, all right, we're here in the car. And let's see, we'll turn the key on. Yeah. All right, so it doesn't look like much has changed. Let's see if we can zoom in here. So we're getting these warnings here. So obviously the doors open, but um, <clears throat> we're getting hoods open, of course. And yeah, engine coolant over temp, which obviously we're not. And fuel level, I guess it is kind of low because I left it on a low tank, no big deal. Change oil soon. I don't think that is should be up. Uh, that wasn't there before. And I noticed that, see, that just changed from red to blue and uh it wouldn't allow me to crank then i can hear my fuel pumps turning on and off um yeah there we go so that's back to red <clears throat> now it won't let me let's see okay so i'll push the clutch in and see it won't let me crank while that's red so i think now that that's blue it should allow me to crank it'll run and then die after three seconds. So holding the button down, no crank, no crank. And you know, of course we obviously have a brand new fresh battery there. I even put the battery on charge all day while I had it in the shop. So not only is it fresh, but it's also freshly charged. <coughs> 
Now when I go to start it, it's saying no clutch or or push clutch in, so. Oh, there we go. See, as soon as that goes blue. There we go. Runs for three seconds, dies. So, yeah. I don't know what to say. Maybe I've lost my tune. I did bring my scan tool home from work, so let's scan this and see what's going on. All right, so get uh, get my scan tool hooked up here. We got uh, wireless uh, capability, so uh, we've got the dongle already in the car, so we're gonna get this thing set up. The one thing, if you can notice, if I shut up for two seconds, is you can hear the pumps running the whole time. Um, you know, definitely kind of strange, not sure why those are going. But uh, yeah, let's see, let's get this thing loaded up here. See what we can, uh, select domestic, Ford. Bring up, uh, bring up the car here. You can hear that thing ding in the back. That was the the coolant warning, saying engine over temp. So I'm not sure if we got another problem there. You know, I really no no idea what's going on here. Uh, so I'm going to manually input the VIN for some reason. So let me just quickly do that, and I'll jump back here. Okay, so yeah, I was just trying to uh, input the VIN uh, into the scan tool, which should automatically read it. And sometimes it's certain models, it makes it uh, so you have to manually input it, but on something this new, it should automatically search. I was quickly doing that off screen and kind of what I suspected, let's see if you can see this here. If you can't, hopefully I don't know if that zoomed in or not. Basically it says uh, the PCM installed to the vehicle is blank. So. Um, obviously, I'm assuming that uh, it somehow lost its tune or uh, lost its identification because the battery went dead over the winter. So, uh, yeah, news to me. So, just going to quickly jump back to the end gauge there and see if we can uh, load the tune back into it. So, um, yeah, see what happens. All right, so back in the car here. Let's see, let's turn this end gauge on. Oh, sorry, I got this thing disconnected. Got to reconnect it. All right, so back in the car here. I uh, got the end gauge back reconnected. And let's see if we can reload this tune. Uh, one of five. I think we're on this revision. Flash this tune. See, it says initializing communications, do not turn off, resetting ECM. Well, that's not a good sign. It says wrong vehicle for. Okay, well, let me check into that and see what's going on. Well, that pretty much settles that for the most part. Uh, just seeing when I was going through the end gauge there, right when I was trying to load the tune and it comes up at the end, it says wrong vehicle. So beats me, I'm sure somebody out there knows. Going to uh, email off Palm Beach, see what's going on, see if they have any recommendations. Uh, I don't know if the PCM screwed. I mean, I don't see how literally the car drove into the garage in October after you know a nice day's drive parked it there and come back to it a few months later. I don't see any other you know problems with the car falling off or you know there's nothing parts falling off or <laughs> rat wiring damage that's a common thing. I don't see any evidence that it's, it's been inside the garage. Not that it couldn't happen here, but I don't see you know anything going on with that. So I don't know. Let's uh send off an email and uh, I'll jump back uh jump back into this video and uh you know we'll update on the next part and see what ended up happening. So while well, follow up let you know.